Learning target 2.19, I can name covalent compounds. Right. Um, similar but different, and the difference is huge. So whenever you see a compound and you have to name it, please, please, please make sure it's covalent or ionic before you try and name it. Okay, let's go over the steps for a covalent compound, which is nonmetal and a nonmetal. Okay, step one. Name the less electronegative element first. Okay, name less electronegative element first. So how do you know if something's not very electronegative? Look at the periodic table. This is high En, this is low En. Okay. Name the one that's less electronegative first. Right. Then name the more electronegative second. Okay. Step three, change the ending of the second one. And good. So this part is very similar to the ionic compound, except since there's no metal, you don't name the metal first, you name the one that's less electronegative first. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and look at the difference. So your step four is the difference part. Okay, so you're going to use a prefix to describe how many of each atom are in the molecule. There's an exception to this because it's chemistry and of course we like to make your life hard. The exception is if the first atom has a subscript of one, we don't use mono. Okay, exception. If first element has a subscript of one, we don't use mono. Okay, so what are the prefixes that you're allowed to use. Okay. Let's go over them. Uh, they're Greek. So mono is one. Di is two. Tri is three. Tetra is four. Penta is five. Hexa, like hexagon, six. Hepta is seven. Octa is eight. Nana or Nona is 9, Deca is 10. Chances are you won't need to go past these. Right? These are the prefixes that go in front of your covalent anion or covalent, sorry, electronegative elements. Okay, so let's go ahead and use these four steps to name a couple of elements, or sorry, a couple of compounds. Okay, so literally a couple. Here are two that we're going to work on. We're going to work on N2O4 and SIF4. So first I need to double check to make sure that it is a covalent compound. Nitrogen is a nonmetal. Oxygen is also nonmetal. So this is covalent. We're good to go. So step one was to name the less electronegative element first. It happens that nitrogen is further to the left then oxygen, so we're going to name nitrogen first. Go ahead and write down nitrogen. Step one. Step two, write down oxygen. Step three, change that to oxide. Good. Right. So let me go ahead and write that out. So far we have nitrogen and oxide. Now step four is the different one, and that's where you use the prefixes. What's the prefix for two? What's the prefix for four? Okay, so then you 
put it in front because it's a prefix, it will go in front. So the prefix of di goes in front of nitrogen. This signifies that there are two nitrogens. The prefix of tetra goes in front of oxide to signify that there's four oxygen atoms. You might also see tetroxide because it's a little weird to say to have two vowels next to each other, right? So your answer, your final answer, is dinitrogen tetroxide. Okay, let's go ahead and try silicon and F. So silicon is non-metal, fluorine is non-metal, so good to go. We can use this naming method, number one. Write down the, less, the least or the less electronegative one, which is silicon. Second step, write down the one that is more electronegative, that's fluorine. Right. Step three, change the ending to fluoride. And step four, let's look at the prefixes. Okay, the subscript of SI is one, right? Because there's nothing there, it's the invisible one. Do I say that this is monosilicon? Sorry, that's my dog. Do we say that this is monosilicon? The answer is no, right? Because if you go back to the exception, which I will show you here, the exception is if the first element has a subscript of one, we don't use mono. I apologize for my dog. So SI is good to go, don't worry about that. And four is in front of the F, so four is tetra again. A really good guard dog, it drives me nuts. So then there's nothing here, and this is tetrafluoride. Silicon tetrafluoride is the name of the covalent compound.